Welcome to this Garymation video about getting the most from PowerPoint. In this video, we're going to look at how you can create icons that will suit apps so that you can brand your learning materials or your videos. More and more, whenever you create any learning materials, videos, uh, content for HR UK, you have to create logos or you have to brand it in some way so that people can instantly identify what it is that they're looking for or so they can easily find what it is they're looking for. So in this tutorial, what I'm going to do is show you a really easy and uh, modern way to help you uh, design icons or logos for your materials. So what we've got here is what's called the app grid. Now this is what Google supply uh, their designers and app creators with. So they create a uniformed approach to, uh, to design. So it doesn't matter whether you're Twitter, TED Talks, Google, Facebook, everybody has to abide by Apple's rules to get their app on in the App Store. Um, so we're just using this as an example, but there's a whole host of different ones out there. Feel free to use whichever one you want. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and create uh, an app or a visual for our annual leave system. So let me just uh, go into a shape. Let's find the closest thing to the app shape. And what I'm going to do is this here is the boundary, this outer line here. I'm just going to grab this and take it to the edges of this square. Now this gives me a nice place to start working from. I'm going to just keep it blue for this moment in time. I'm going to remove the outline and then I'm going to send it to the back. But before I do that, I'm going to round the edges to try and make it as close to this inside this circle as possible. Now, the reason this grid is here is to try and give you some symmetry. Um, so regardless of where you put things, it will tie in in as best a way as possible. And if you set any app underneath this, whether it's the Google Chrome app, uh, WhatsApp, they will have abided by this. In fact, let me just show you. Just take a look at these ones. So here's Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, Apple Music, Instagram, Google. They all abide by the same rules. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and create a nice app for our annual leave system. So let's add in. So when you think, when you're creating a logo, you need to think, right, what's the logical thing that you would expect to see for annual leave? Well, let's have a think. Why do you book annual leave? You book annual leave because hopefully you're going on holiday. Um, if you're going on holiday, you're hoping that there's going to be perhaps some sunshine. So let's create a nice golden sun. Let's remove the outline. Let's center it up. There we go. Nice and center. Let's send, leave it where it is for the minute. And if you're heading for the sunshine, what else? How are you going to get there? You're probably going to jump a plane. So let's go to insert. Let's go to icons. Uh, let's go to vehicles. And there we have a nice airplane. So there we go. Now I can make this as big or as small as I want. Now, because obviously we've got these, this grid and this outline, we kind of need to decide where it goes. We can use it dead center as long as it lines up here. I'm actually going to set it at an angle. I'm going to use the vertical line. You can see it there almost. It's going to link it up here. There we go. Looks pretty good. So we've got the sun in the background. We can use this blue as the blue sky. Sun here in the airplane. I'm actually going to. Most airplanes are. Oops. So what's that? It's just appeared again. Let's copy and paste this airplane. Let's change its color. Let's give it a wee bit of shading. There we go, that's nice. Let me make it a teeny bit smaller. There we go. Now, if I remove the grid, boom. Really simple, really straightforward, but it's, it lets you know exactly what it's looking to achieve. Now, if I reinsert the, the grid, what I can then send it to the back and then send the, the background to the back as well. What I can do is I can make this circle a little bit, oops, a little bit larger. There we 
go. And we want to try and stick to these ratios as best as possible. That should do it. Now what I'm doing here to move it, you know, minutely is I'm pressing control and then the arrow key. So when I do that, I can move it hundredths of a millimeter at a time. So that gives a nice better size. And let's say, for example, let's, we want to create maybe a wee cloud just for the sake of it. What I can do, I can do that quite easily. And I want to make it white. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to group this, and again I want to stick to the the ratios of this. So I'm going to balance it on this line going this way. There we go, that'll do it. And if I remove the grid, there we go. And your leaf system. Really straightforward, nice icon, but now I can create as many of these types of icons as I would like, um, and it's going to look pretty straightforward. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this short video. Uh, the next video will be the seventh in the series, and will be around mobiles and creating video content within PowerPoint. If you've enjoyed this video and the others in the series, please click the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up and indeed leave us some feedback in the comments section. If there's anything that you would like to know how to do or things that you want to do better in PowerPoint, leave us a comment and we'll hopefully do something in the future. Thank you.